1:15 pm this is the sri lanka broadcasting corporation the news edited by danush kumadavela and read by geethanjali ramanaika the headlines the central bank of sri lanka requests the general public to deposit funds only at reputed and legal entities the special commodity levy will be removed from january next year significant increase in hiv infections in sri lanka the railway operations on the coastal line are experiencing delays today and tomorrow the development lotteries board achieved its highest ever profit in its 40 year history and in foreign news top UN coach orders Israel to allow food and medical aid into Gaza and in sports Luke Littler beats Nathan Aspinall to win Premier League darts night 9 in Belfast The Central Bank of Sri Lanka requests the general public to deposit funds only at reputed and legal entities The governor of the Central Bank Nandalal Virasinghe says that the Central Bank has published a list of organizations which are legally approved to take financial deposits in the country. These entities are supervised and monitored by the Central Bank and they are under the Banking Act of Sri Lanka. The governor requests the general public to pay attention on the list before making any financial deposits on unknown organizations. It is illegal to make financial deposits at unregistered and unauthorized institutions. The central bank governor says it's also not legal to request for invest in harvest or properties. The central bank is closely monitoring such organizations. The governor says that businesses can be managed with investment plans, but those entities cannot keep any financial deposits with them. He said that if any organization keeps financial deposit at an investment, it's totally illegal. Finance State Minister Ranjit Sembalapiti announced that the special commodity levy will be removed from January next year. The state minister said that a special direct tax will be imposed to protect the local farmers and manufacturers. He said that the government's decision to reduce the rice import tax from 65 rupees to 1 per kilogram will not affect local farmers. Similarly, the revision of the special merchandise tax for imported rice and big onions will also not impact local farmers. The minister noted that the price of big onions has significantly increased following the termination of big onion export by India. In response, the government has decided to lower tax on pink onions. Import from 80 rupees 80 rupees to 10 rupees as pink onions are a suitable alternative for big onions Siambala Pitti also explained that the government has allowed the importation of kiri samba since January due to the rapid rise in its prices the minister pointed out that part of the stock of rice that was shipped during the period arrived in sri lanka late and that stock was stuck in the port and that this relief would be effective for one week only to the release the stock delayed in the port the 35th sarasavi film awards was held at the bmich colombo yesterday legendary Dr. Malini Fonseca graced the event as the chief guest while Transport, Highways and Mass Media Minister Dr. Bandula Gunawardena was the guest of honor. A total of 57 carded awards were presented to film re- films released during the year 2019 and 2020 spanning a diverse array of categories including direction, acting, cinematography, playback singing and music composition. The Sarasave Film Festival is organized by the Associated Newspapers of Ceylon Limited. This news broadcast comes to you from the Sri Lanka Broadcasting Corporation. The Department of Railways said that the railway operations on the coastal line are experiencing delays today and tomorrow. The department attributed the delays to the railway operations being limited to a single track between Vallavatta and Colombo Fort railway stations due to a pipeline maintenance activity carried out by the Urban Development Authority. The Department of Railways says that the train operations on the coastal line will be restored after Sunday night. The National Sexually Transmitted Disease and AIDS Prevention Program states that the reporting of new HIV infections has increased. Director Dr. Janaki Vidanapathirana said that this is higher in 2024 compared to 2023. Doctors said that if a person is infected with this virus, it takes about 8 years for symptoms to show. If a person engages in risky sexual behavior, 
an HIV test should be carried out and the test can be done even at home. And that ends local news for now. The main news story is brought to you by Siddha Lepa Veda Mahatma. In 2023, the Development Lotteries Board achieved its highest ever profit in its 40-year history. This marked a significant milestone as the DLB recorded a profit margin of 32% for the fiscal year 2022-2023, double the previous year's figure. Consequently, contributions to both the President's Fund and the government saw notable increases with a 13% rise for the former, surpassing the target and 6% increase for the latter. Mr. Ajit Gunratna Naragala, Chairman and CEO of the Development Lotteries Board, attributed this success to strategic measures aimed at mitigating the country's economic challenges with a special guidance from President Ranil Vikram Singha, who also serves as the Minister of Finance. And that was the main news story. The main news story was brought to you by Siddha Lepa Vedamatna. Watch Life is brought to you by CIB Navy Offer. Valuable gifts and gift vouchers, 25% discount for bank cards till 10th of April. Visit CIB today. CIB revives once always. In Watch Light, special transportation arrangements have been made due to the upcoming New Year season. For the citizens travelling out of Colombo, special train services have been arranged and reservations are being made available online. This arrangement will come into effect from 10th of April. CIB Navy offer valuable gifts and gift vouchers, 25% discount for bank cards till 10th of April. Visit CIB today. CIB revives once always. Coming up, world news. The headlines first. Top UN court orders Israel to allow food and medical aid into Gaza. Girl 8, only survivor, has 45 killed in bus crash in South Africa. And Trump attends the wake of New York policeman shot on duty. The UN's top court has unanimously ordered Israel to enable the unhindered flow of aid into Gaza in order to avert a famine. The International Court of Justice said Israel must act without delay to allow the provision of urgently needed basic services and humanitarian assistance. This follows warnings that famine could hit Gaza within weeks. Israel has called allegations its blocking aid wholly unfounded. It has also denied allegations of genocide lodged at the ICJ by South Africa and has blamed the UN for problems with the distribution of aid. The latest ruling by the court in the Hague comes after South Africa asked its, it to bolster an order issued to Israel in January to take all measures to prevent genocidal act in Gaza. Although orders issued by the ICJ are legally binding, the court lacks the power to enforce them. 45 people have died in South Africa after the bus they were in plunged some 165 feet of a bridge into a ravine, authorities say. An eight-year-old girl, the only survivor, was taken to hospital with serious injuries. The bus crashed through a barrier and caught fire when it hit the ground in the northern eastern Limpopo province. The passengers were pilgrims traveling from Botswana's capital, Cabrone, on to Easter service in the town of Moria. The vehicle lost control and went off a bridge on the Mamatsakala mountain passed between Mokopain and Marken, around 190 miles north of Johannesburg, according to South African public broadcaster SABC. Rescue operations went on late into Thursday evening, with some of those killed reportedly hard to reach amid the debris. Former President Donald Trump attended the wake of a New York City police officer who was fatally shot during a traffic stop on Monday. Officer Jonathan Diller died after the occupant of an illegally parked car opened fire on him. We have to stop it. We have to get back to law and order, Mrs. Trump said outside the Long Island funeral home after meeting the Diller family. He has sought to make crime a key issue in his presidential campaign. Mr. Diller's killing, which occurs as a debate over public safety and crime, has developed in some major U.S. cities, in the first of New York police officers since 2022. Authorities have charged 34-year-old 
Guy Rivera with first-degree murder of a police officer. And back to the headlines of the world news. Top UN court orders Israel to allow food and medical aid into Gaza. Girl 8, only survivor, as 45 killed in bus crash in South Africa. Trump attends wake of New York policeman shot on duty. And that ends world news. Development News in development news, small and medium enterprise development state minister Prasanna Ranveera said that Sri Lanka has recorded an export income of 983.7 million rupees in the past two months. The figure serves as a confirmation that the country is heading in the right direction economically. The state minister also highlighted that fostering an entrepreneurial environment within school provides significant support in nurturing individuals to become successful entrepreneurs. State Minister Prasan Ranaviro highlighted this during a press conference at the Presidential Media Centre yesterday under the theme Collective Path to a Stable Country. Moving on with sports news. Teenager Lil Klitler continued his extraordinary rise as he won his first Premier League dance night with a 6-4 win over Nathan Aspinall in Belfast. Littler, 17, rose to prominence when he was runner-up to Liu Humphreys in the World Darts Championship on debut. The Premier League debutant has reached his final in Week 2 of Berlin but lost to Michael Van Gerwen. He beat Humphreys, who defeated him in January's World Final in the quarter-final and Van Gerwen in his semis. The win leaves Littler second in the eight-player Premier League Darts table with the top four progressing to the playoffs on 23rd May at London O2 Arena. And that was Sports News. Go Ekatiana Youth Ticket, Life Ticket, Change Ticket, Niamata Setpena, Aswahagena, Dakapuina, Habakarana, Youth Ticket, Niamata Setpena, Friendship Petamenda. The all new NSB Itrumitru account, NSB I am, a plan for your dream. Business News, sponsored by National Savings Bank, the safest place for your money. China has announced it will remove significant tariffs on Australian wine, another key sign of improving relations between the two countries. Beijing imposed taxes of more than 200% in 2020 amid a string of economic blows to Australian exports. That year, Beijing targeted Australian coal, barley, timber and lobsters as part of a wider political falling out. But China-Australia relations have improved since a new Canberra government was elected in 2022. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese welcomed the announcement from the Chinese Commerce Ministry on Thursday, saying his government had also managed to reduce other trade barriers. Business News, sponsored by National Savings Bank. The safest place for your money. Go ekatiana youth ticket, life ticket, change ticket, niameta set penna. Aswahagena, dekha puina, habe karana. Youth ticket, niameta set penna, friendship better menna. The all new NSB Itrumitru account, NSB I am, a plan for your dream. On to economic news. Sam Bankman Fried, co founder of the failed crypto exchange FTX, has been sentenced to 25 years in prison for defrauding customers and investors of his now bankrupt firm. The ruling cements the downfall of the former billionaire who emerged as a high profile champion of crypto before his firm's dramatic collapse in 2022. He was found to have stolen billions from customers ahead of the failure. Back when Fried's legal team will appeal against his conviction. And that was economic news. Weather report. Showers and thundershowers will occur at several places in the western, southern, Sabragamu and central provinces after 2 p.m. Showers and thundershowers may occur at a few places in the U and northwestern province after 2 p.m. Fairly heavy showers, above 50 mm, are likely at some places in the Sabragamu and western provinces and in the Gaul and Matra districts. Misty conditions can be expected at some places in the central Sabragamu, U and western provinces and in the Gaul and Matra district during the morning. That was the weather report and prior to concluding this news broadcast, the headlines once again. The Central Bank of Sri Lanka requests the general public to deposit funds only at reputed and legal entities. 
the special commodity levy will be removed from January next year. Significant increase of HIV infections in Sri Lanka. The railway operations and the coastal line are experiencing delays today and tomorrow. The Development Lotteries Board achieved its highest ever profit in its 40-year history. Foreign News Top UN Court orders Israel to allow food and medical aid into Gaza. And in sports, Luke Littler beats Nathan Aspinall to win Premier League Darts Night in Belfast. With that, we end this news broadcast from the Sri Lanka Broadcasting Corporation. And it's 30 seconds past 1.30. You are with Radio Sri Lanka.